All right, so today we're gonna to talk about stubborn USB VCP port flight control boards. Okay, so I have a couple Omnibus boards and my Windows 7 laptop, for some reason, I cannot get them to work in DFU mode. I installed the drivers, spent a lot of time on this. Um, they connect fine to any of the flight control software for the drivers, but uh, and they will go into DFU mode or bootloader mode uh, from the command line or using the bootloader pads or whatever but it will not show a port up here no matter what I do um, to make that work and there's some good videos out there on, on this workaround so I don't think I'm adding to any data pool on YouTube however I just want to draw it to people's attention so what happens is you know I can connect to flight control software again with the omnibus boards but when I go to flash it I hit a roadblock and I can't do that because I can't get that DFU mode to come up as a, it should come up as DFU up here once you switch in. And it won't, and then I get this failed comp port. You can go ahead and download ST Electronics. They have a DFU mounting firmware flasher uh, themselves. So you can go to the ST Electronics. I'll drop the link in the lower, in the description. Go ahead and download that, get it installed. The first thing you need to do is the DFU file manager. What you would need to do is you run this, use the top option, click OK. You go out, you have to download the hex files manually for Betaflight. So you either go to, the, or Butterfly or whatever you're using. Um, you either go to the, the uh, GitHub sites and download those for stable releases or the Jenkins site for Betaflight if it's an unstable release. Go, get those downloaded uh, for your board. You go to here, you would select your hex file so you hit this uh, S9 or hex and it's going to go ahead and make a DFU file. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, going to go up to this latest hex I just downloaded, click on that, hit generate. It's going to ask me where to put it. I'm just going to save over top another one I have in there and hit save. It says successful image made. Just takes a second. Hit cancel. Now I'm going to go up and go back into that. There's another one here, DFU, SC, demo, whatever. Click that, go ahead and hit browse. Now, I'm gonna have to mute it here. I'm gonna show you what goes on the screen because I have a beeper <laughs> on my quad here. And as soon as I put it in the DFU mode, uh, although the COM port doesn't go up, the buzzer immediately triggers and it just, it's a blaring buzzer sound the whole time. It's flashing, which, you know, it's only a couple seconds, but anyways, you would hear that. But to get this into your board in the DFU mode, what I ch typically do is I will go ahead and connect to it. Then I will go down in debate flight or butter or whatever you're using and type DL. As soon as I do this, this thing's gonna go off. All right, so I was able to mute it and post edit. You can see now it's in bootloader mode. I can select it. I can hit choose. Select the DFU file I've made in the previous step. Hit update, hit yes, and then just let it go. So it's really that straightforward and that easy. Okay, after it's completed, uh, it will dismount, or I unplugged it so it stopped beeping actually. I'm gonna go ahead and hit quit this. Now I can go back in the beta flight, go ahead and connect. So now I have the, the new firmware flashed on from the hex file that we downloaded, and voila. All right, thanks, hope this helped.